Hi. This tutorial will guide on how to perform the interior orientation procedure in photo mod. The interior orientation procedure in digital stereo plotter is performed to determine the position and orientation of the film image coordinate system relative to the digital image coordinate system. Besides the procedure also allows defining the parameters describing systematic deformation of film photographs. The results from the interior orientation solution then used to transform the measurement of the image point from the digital image coordinate system to the film image coordinate system. The learning objectives of this tutorial are to define project camera parameters, to orientate the photographs, and to analyze the interior orientation result. You may open the previous project file performed in the previous tutorial. Also, you can make a duplicate file as for backup. The project description can be updated to track your exercise progress. The orientation stage can be accessed through the project state menu. The project state dialog box also can be used to track the orientation progress. Click the project camera button to define the project camera. In project camera section, you can define new camera, import camera from other project, and edit the camera. In this tutorial we create a new camera by click the new camera icon button. In the camera window, enter the camera name. It is suggested to enter the actual camera name used to capture the images. As an example, in this tutorial, the camera name is Wild 15 for UAGS which can found on the camera information. For the camera type, choose film as the tutorial is using the film image captured from the analog camera. The camera type selection also activates fiducial marks section. Here choose fiducial coordinate option from the drop down menu. The fiducial coordinate can be obtained from the camera passport or camera calibration certificate. This is the example of the camera passport found on the internet. In this document containing essential information, for example the camera, the lens type, lens number, the radial distortion values, and fiducial coordinates. Enter the coordinate values in the fiducial mark section. Also, enter the focal length value, and principal point coordinate. You may enter the description of the camera in the description box. In the distortion section, enter all the radial distortion values in the table. Then click the OK button. In the project camera section, click the execute button to assign the camera to images. The next step is to measure the fiducial coordinate. The measurement can be performed in three different ways, namely manual mode, semi-automatic mode, and fully automatic mode. For this exercise, choose the manual measurement mode. Locate the fiducial mark which the coordinates to be measured in the measurement table. Make sure the image orientation is correct by referring to its certificate. For example, the fiducial point 1 is locating at the lower right corner, and the fiducial point 3 is locating at upper left corner according to the camera calibration certificate. Perform a precise measurement of a fiducial marker in the lens window. And locate the cross marker at the center of the fiducial mark. Once the cross marker located at the fiducial point, then click the measurement mark to accept the measurement. The process is repeating to mark the rest of the marker until completed all fiducial marker in a single image. Once completed marked all fiducial marker in a single image, click the apply button. Then move to the next image to perform the same process.
After all the fiducial mark has been marked on all images in the same strip, then move to next strip. Repeat the process. In this exercise, the orientation of the images in second strip was rotated due to change of flight direction. Thus, make sure to mark the point at the correct fiducial. After completed the fiducial mark measurement process, the final step is to analyze the quality of the interior orientation by assessing the report. In the main measurement parameters tab, choose to show report on all images. In this exercise, we set the precision of the interior orientation to half pixel size. Therefore, in the residual of the interior orientation threshold, set the value to 0.5. And select pixel. And root mean square, RMS. The report contains general information on the implementation of the interior orientation. The focus in the report is to assess the RMS residual to not exceed the threshold value for the quality control. Any residual outside of the threshold value will be highlighted by red color. If this happened, then it requires a correction on the highlighted point. For example, in the report, the residual for image number 30724 on strip 2 has exceeded the threshold value. To make the correction on the measurement, click the star symbol in the first column of the image number to open the fiducial measurement window. Here you may apply the correction by adjusting or remark the fiducial position. Also, the residual should not be given zero value as it indicates an error on measurement. For example, image number 30720 on the first row of strip 2 has zero residual, thus requires correction. When all the processing steps were completed, the residual result shows by the report indicates the precision of the interior orientation process in the exercise. After satisfied with the result, exit the interior orientation section. The interior orientation process successfully performed if a green right symbol is shown in the project state window. That's all for this video tutorial exercise. As a summary, we have covered three lesson objectives in this tutorial, consisted of defined camera parameters, orientate the images and analyze the result. Enjoy your exercise and see you in the next video. Bye.